this is really not supposed to be a review. Um, you guys overwhelmingly demanded, I wouldn't say demanded, but you overwhelmingly chose the Monday mukbang for, for uh, the new options, one of the new options that we're going to be coming out with on our channel. So this is going to be the first, this is the first official Monday mukbang. What's up YouTube, Big Daddy here. Time for another food review. Today, we are sitting outside a Subway. I don't know if you can see it because behind me, it's like the sun from, like it's like the sun is right sitting on my, on the back of my car. Uh, <laughs> but this was the best spot I could find to do the review and you guys can see me, so we're all good. I decided to check out today I gotta get this, pick this sucker up. The Subway foot long ultimate cheesy garlic bread meatball marinara sandwich. I'm telling you guys, you should have seen the way this guy was making this thing. He made this thing with love, man. <laughs> it's got the they got the Parmesan garlic spread on there. Then he layered on a, help, a healthy layer of mozzarella cheese. Then they toasted that in, the, in, the, in their little oven that they have back there. And they put on the meatball marinara. And man, this thing looked awesome. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. Because this thing is huge, it's hot. The guy even told me, he goes, when, you, when he gave it to me, he goes, carry it like this. In other words, if you carry it, it's gonna go, <laughs> so, oh, the one thing that's kind of funny though is I walk back because I forgot I needed some napkins. I go, I, I ask the guy, I go, can I have some napkins? And clearly he has no concept of the messiness that, that is this sandwich. And he goes, here you go. And hands me one napkin. I said, you got a couple more than that? No, he gave me two. So luckily I've got some napkins in my car. I am going to open this up for you and show you what they have given to me here at Subway. So this is the, let's open this up, the meatball marinara sandwich. Let's see if we get a good cheese, a cheese pull here. I mean, I can't even, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, oh, yes. <laughs> look at that. That is something else. So, Right off the bat, I'm smelling the meatballs, the marinara, the cheese, the garlic. I hope it's as good as it looks, because it looks phenomenal. I don't know how to eat this other than to just stuff it in my pie hole. So here we go. This is the Subway Ultimate Garlic Bread, Ultimate Cheesy Garlic Bread Meatball Marinara Foot Long Sandwich. Let's do this. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> Kids, do not try this at home. I am an expert car eater. Yeah. <laughs> and this is not something I would recommend anyone who has not had some experience eating in the car to do, because this is messy. It's hot. It's toasty, the bread is nice and toasty. It's garlicky. The cheese on this. There's so much cheese on this. Oh my God. Hold on. I'm afraid I'm gonna choke, wow. Wow. The garlic on here, it is really, really good, but it doesn't overpower the whole sandwich. You can still taste the, the tomato sauce, the marinara, you can taste the meat and the meatballs, and that cheese is just out of this world. Look at that. Oh my God. It's just layered, layer upon layer. Oh. Mm. 
I can't eat this thing without cheese just coming out in waves. Hold on a moment, folks. Let me get a little one of my one napkins. My two napkins, I should say. Wow. You know what? If that's the only thing I got to complain about, <laughs> the, this sandwich is really, really stellar. It's, it's The bread is so nice, toasty, awesome. The cheese is just coming off. Look at that. Mm. I really don't have anything to complain about. I really think if you're somebody who enjoys garlic bread, who likes Italian type food, and I know there's gonna be people out there who are saying, Hey daddy, it's Subway, it's not Italian. Okay, fine, but it's got garlic, it's got tomato sauce, it's got mozzarella cheese. To me, it represents an Italian style food. And if you like that kind of thing, you will love this sandwich. This is by far, I believe this is Subway's, in my opinion, this is Subway's best sandwich um, that I've, I've had in a long, long time. It kills that lame cheesesteak thing they did a little while ago. This is really, really good. Good for them. I kind of need to make up for that one. Mm. I know this is not supposed to, this is really not supposed to be a review. Um, you guys overwhelmingly demanded, I wouldn't say demanded, but you overwhelmingly chose the Monday mukbang for, for uh, the new options, one of the new options that we're gonna be coming out with on our channel. So this is going to be the first, this is the first official Monday mukbang, the Subway meatball mozzarella. The word just turning. But if you stick around to the end, I'll probably give you a rating anyways. <laughs> so how was everybody's weekend? Did you enjoy your weekend? Did you, did you, um, over here, it's like really cold. And that's always fun. If you're a polar bear, I was in the 20s a lot of the weekend. Gets up to the 30s. Like right now, my outside temperature says 34. But there's a silver lining to that. This weekend, the Bears played the Los Angeles Rams. And I know most football players will tell you it really doesn't matter. When they interview them on their, after the game, they say it really didn't matter. The weather didn't have any effect on the way we played, blah, blah, blah. But I'm telling you, if they coming from L.A. and playing in 20-some 20, 20 degree weather, you can't tell me, though, some of those guys aren't out there sitting there freezing their you-know-what off. So the Bears won. They beat the Rams, team with the best record in the NFL. you got to love that. We just shut them down. Any of you folks who watch from the West Coast, from California, I'm sorry. It's been a really long time that the Bears have been good. So I kind of feel like enjoying it a little bit. Sorry about that. <laughs> And look at it this way. You always have the Bulls to make fun of because they're terrible. Heck, there was a thing the other day saying that 
some of the players on the Bulls didn't even want to play or didn't even want to practice. They were taking a vote as to whether or not they should practice or not. That's just crazy. But enough about sports. What else should we talk about? Hmm. Diet Coke. Gotta love it. Uh, I think that uh, Christmas coming up. Man, it's hot in here. I gotta turn this heat off for a little bit. Is something that we should talk about. I hope you guys have got your Christmas shopping done. Uh, we have, we've got ours done for the most part. We have a few people to buy for, um, a few little odds and ends, some stocking stuffers, stuff like that. But uh, overall, I think we're mostly done. Uh, the problem is getting the stuff to come to our house. We're still waiting on a couple things to be delivered. One got back ordered. Um, oh, this sandwich is so good. Have you guys ever, I mean, if you guys have never had, oh, Wow, I picked it up without the paper. The, fo the foil is nice to keep it all wrapped up, but it's a heat conductor, so it's hot. Oh, I gotta turn it around. I'm a lefty, so I gotta turn it around. That's right, trivia, fun fact, Big Daddy is a lefty. Oh, look at that, look at, look at, look at. Oh, so good. I think this is just me. In my opinion, if they wanted to, they could add a little more garlic to this. I mean, it's garlicky, but I love garlic. I, I, I'm a garlic freak when it comes to that. I, I just think garlic is one of the best, best things on earth. It's good for you. It tastes good. It makes Italian food taste really good. I love garlic. It's awesome. It's not good for your breath. But, you know, who cares? Take a, have a mint and be done. Eat garlic, have a mint. Mm. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That was a huge thing of cheese that just got kind of sucked into my mouth. I was a little bit afraid I was going to choke again. Man, this is nuts. Don't eat this in the car. Do not. <laughs> Unless you like burning the top of your mouth and choking on mozzarella cheese. Wow, this guy loaded this thing with cheese. So good. I may have to edit that one out though. I mean, they're gonna put me on one of them. They're gonna put me on one of them cringe videos. <laughs> Here we go. The problem is, you take a bite. And you try to take a small bite. And the cheese just comes out. So you don't want the cheese to fall into your, on your shirt or fall over. So you just kind of gobble, 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 gobble to try to get it in your mouth. And then all of a sudden now you've got this giant wad of cheese in your mouth. It's just no bueno. Oh. Hold on. I have a notification. I need to. There we go. I hate that. They sit there and they distract the heck out of me. Because as I'm talking, I'm trying to look at the camera and all I see is letters. It drives me crazy. Mm. Super, super cheesy. The bread is toasty, garlicky, so good. Well, I'm at a point now where I think, I don't think I can eat anymore. This is getting very full. So, uh, like I said before, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll give you a rating anyways. This is a 10 all day, guys. This, the ultimate cheesy garlic bread is exactly what they say it is. It is really cheesy. 
The meatball marinara is nice. The meatball adds a nice element to it. The bread is very toasty. I highly recommend this. This is my new favorite sandwich at Subway. Go out to Subway, get it before it's gone. Check it out. You will not be sorry. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, tap that notifier bell so you know when the next video comes out. Don't forget to click into the giveaway so you can get your chance to win. And as always, share this video with all your friends, your neighbors, your relatives, your grandma, your uncle. Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> your Uncle Belch. <laughs> your Uncle Fred, who likes to just belch like crazy. Yeah, share it with that guy. Share it with that guy, huh? And uh, remember, before you take the first bite, you gotta stuff it in your pie hole. Mmm, so good. We are out.